today in Syria, two and a half years after this conflict started, is really catastrophic. It's not improving. It's fair to say that uh, this very violent conflict has, has not spared anyone. In besieged areas, whether in government controlled areas or on the other side, I think the civilians there are the most vulnerable of the vulnerable. For some of them, they uh, didn't have access to water, to electricity, to medical care, to food for more than a year. If to this you add the fact that a new winter is coming with a lot of uh, houses without glazing, uh, without electricity, uh, without water, it makes it an additional uh, stress for the population. I think that Syria will be remembered as the conflict where there has been and there is still lack of basic respect of the medical mission. We see a uh, hospital being targeted, uh, being a doctor is by definition very dangerous in Syria, uh, nurses are not able to operate, uh, ambulances are being targeted. These are uh, matters of grave concern for us. Indeed, the chemical weapon has triggered a dynamic with the Security Council resolution that is now being implemented. Our hope as humanitarians is that same dynamic triggers greater acceptance for humanitarian work. There is a dire need for consent of these basic principles so that uh, Syrian Red Crescent volunteers, ICRC, other humanitarian organizations active and committed to work in Syria are able to deliver the most basic humanitarian act that is treating a wounded person.